All right, so today we got one that's going to be cool for our Buzz users as well as our Reaper users here. If you follow the channel, then you know that I recently switched over from using Buzz to using Reaper, and I'm trying to document my process for anybody else who's trying to make the switch or anybody who is new to Reaper in general. These tutorials are going to be useful for you too. So on Buzz, there's a cool feature where pretty much so any instrument you have loaded, you can just start pushing keys on your computer keyboard and play it just like a MIDI piano. So there's a pretty cool, easy way to do this in Reaper as well. It's not quite as turnkey as it is in Buzz, so there's a few steps to set it up. This is, of course, useful if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, a MIDI piano to plug into your computer. Well, you can still record stuff in Reaper like this. So I'm going to show you the steps to it really quick. First, we just got to start out with a new track. So we'll go track, insert new track. It needs a synthesizer patch. So we'll click on the FX button. This is open right into my VSTI folder. So we'll just pick one. That good old Tweakbench Triforce. Shout out to Tweakbench. They make some great 8-bit chiptune type VST synths. Okay, so now what we've got to do is go up here to View. And down here to Virtual MIDI Keyboard. Alt-B is also the shortcut for that. Alt-B, Alt-B, okay. Got a keyboard here. You can select what note is the sensor note and change that. C6, C5, and you can change those with the arrow keys too is what it's telling you here. You pick the MIDI channel. Okay, so how do we make the virtual MIDI keyboard? Oh, I messed it up. Okay, so how do we make the virtual MIDI keyboard make our Triforce synth make a sound, right? So we gotta go up here and we gotta arm the track for recording. recording. It's picking, it's picking up the, up sound, the sound from my from microphone, microphone now. now. So we just, so we click, just click here, here in the NFX input MIDI, MIDI virtual, virtual MIDI, MIDI keyboard, keyboard all, channels. all channels. And here we go. We can test it out. Not working. There we go. I'm just pushing the keys on my computer keyboard and it is making the synthesizer play the notes. I don't have another camera set up to show that I'm actually pushing the buttons to make this happen, but hopefully you can kind of see that. So it's about as simple as that. If you push record, then you can record some MIDI tracks with it too. There you go, you now have a new MIDI item. You can pop that open and you can edit the notes around if you want to. So it's important also to note that you have to click on the virtual MIDI keyboard, otherwise it won't be sending any input. So if you're going to record something, you have to click the record button first and then click on the virtual MIDI keyboard. Pushing keys. Now I click on the virtual MIDI keyboard, now it works. So that's it for this time. Just gonna keep it super short and simple. I hope you enjoy playing with your virtual MIDI keyboard in Reaper, and I hope that you all have fun out there. <laughs>